another explosive start. This one, Roberto Young coming off of two losses, trying to put that behind him quickly on Phoenix Jones. You know, Phoenix Jones primarily is a grappler. He's been working on his striking out of the AMC with Matt Hume and UFC champion Demetrius Johnson, to name a couple. But he really is primarily a wrestler, Todd. He needs to push him into the fence like he's trying to do now and look to drag this to the floor. Young with some space, throwing a one-two combo, lands a good jab there. Jones coming over the top, looking to keep pressure on his opponent's head. They're back in the neutral position. Boy, the speed of Roberto Young could be problematic for Phoenix Jones. Big right hand, he landed too, Todd. It only takes one of those there. Speaking of, Phoenix comes back. Phoenix is finding some, some luck with his front headlock position, Todd, but he doesn't seem to know how to finish from here. He's got a couple of options, and one is to just jump back and pull his opponent down. I think instead he's choosing to try to focus on his grip. If he can get his hands locked just right, a guillotine choke is an option from here. And unless Young starts doing something for defense, mainly attacking at the hands, he's gonna wow. increase the potential. He's caught in one. Here we break away. And he goes right back to that guillotine. He comes back to this front headlock position. I, I, I would assume he's setting up a guillotine. In this position, Todd, it's all about getting your hands locked the right way. You need under the chin, and then you'll begin the arch position. Phoenix is arching a little bit here, but I don't think he has his hands locked. If Young can put weight on the hands and pull that grip down, he should, should pop out of it. Young does look a, a little bit confused. I think he's tapping. Defend yourself. No, he was striking, and there is a difference. So Roberto Young comes out of that one not once but twice. And remember, Phoenix Jones is in trouble as he gets rocked, and he is coming up a loss to Emmanuel Wallow. He's got to do something here, or this one's going to be over. Jones is really eating some big shots there. It's a solid chin, those punches. I can hear over here, all the way in our seat. Phoenix Jones needs to get back to this clips position. Young with a one-two combo, very nice. Picks him up, takes him down. Phoenix Jones in side control now. He's got a couple of options from here. He wants to maintain position while working ground and pound and looking for submissions. He moves to what's called the north-south position. He could begin to attack an arm and look for a Kimura. Right here, he's got the lock. He's going to need to bring Yong back to a hip. Well, I'll tell you what, as awkward as it looks, Phoenix Jones has a lot of options in action. Phoenix Jones has defeated Roberto Young. Back inside Comerica Theater, Phoenix, Arizona, World Series of Fighting 23 at the conclusion of the catchweight bout. We set it inside the cage. Jeff Securo has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to a scissors choke at three minutes and nine seconds of round number one. Your winner, the vigilante, Phoenix Jones. Don't miss our next action-packed car, WSOF 32, Saturday, July 30th only on NBCSN.